after getting the neck to actually fit down in the pocket for now I'm just trying to do some locating for the bridge placement to be able to determine where the mounting holes should go and try to figure out a center line on the uh, on the neck which is just basically sitting in the pocket it's very very sturdy in the pocket right now and it is all the way down to the bottom of that pocket so this is the uh, next phase of measuring the scale length and uh, making sure that I have it looks like these screws are quite long on this vintage uh, bridge and uh, I shouldn't have any problem uh, with intonation adjustment from the uh, <clears throat> 12th fret down I should be able to easily get the scale regardless of where the screws go um, I want to get the holes for the um, string through the body uh, nice and lined up straight and try to make sure that the bridge pickup will fit in this hole okay where we end up replacing it so I'll do uh, some of that off camera and we'll be back later okay a check fit today of the bridge with the um, pickup mounted uh, has shown me that when this cable which is nice and beefy um, for protection purposes and, uh, and I guess it's got a pretty good shield around it as well it goes through the hole that has been routed down here and what it tells me is that this hole is too high up from the bottom and that when the cable goes through it's causing my pickup to sit proudly because this corner here sits on the cable as it goes through the hole and pushes that side of the pickup up and doesn't allow me to adjust it down with the screws so this is a slight problem and the only thing I can see to do is try to figure out how to carefully um, drill on this hole a little bit to get the lip here a little bit lower on this side so that the cable will actually go lower below the base of the pickup and allow me to actually have some comfortable adjustment uh, up to where it needs to be for the string over the pickup so that's the latest I found as an issue that I'll have to work on other than that um, I've mounted the XGP neck temporarily uh, snug in the pocket I ran uh, from the bridge that I had on there before some temporary fishing line to the back of the bridge here to give me an idea of where the adjustment was up the neck on both sides for where the the high E and low E strings would be and it seems that the pocket is uh, quite straight uh, and acceptable as to where it's going to uh, line up to at this point and uh, should only be a minor tweak um, of the neck a little tap up a little tap down I'm not sure if it'll actually even need it we'll check it again when I actually get some strings on there afterwards I've actually uh, notched punched in the pilot holes for where the four mounting screws will go making sure that the string 
holes and maintained alignment with the uh, back of the bridge down there. A little reflection problem. And, uh, and we'll see where it goes from there. After looking into what I could do with this hole, um, I decided to put a bit in there and drill it out and rasp it. And it looks now like it's going to fit. I did another check fit, and that uh, the bridge can now go down on its adjustments. And while I was in there, I realized the one coming from the neck pickup hole was also a little bit high. And since the wire from that is a little bit skinnier, and I only have to get that in a, a ground wire uh, through there to connect both pockets, so I put a little bit of a drill hole bit on that one as well to bring it down. And hopefully that will do and not um, obstruct the bridge. The bridge plate is very, very close to the actual size of this cavity. There's very little margin around the uh, perimeter and uh, hopefully that's now going to work okay when I get to the point of stringing the wires and trying to do the installation and setup. I have the neck prepared. I put my custom logo on the headstock. I had to drill out the 9mm holes to 10 to fit my chosen tuning pegs. Worked out pretty good. Had to do it with reamers and drill bits and the like and very slowly, very carefully. And even though I did that, I did end up with a small chip here on the back which will be covered by the tuner luckily uh, and, and the other rough edges around the holes and I got all the guide pin holes uh, for the tuning pegs drilled so they will lock them in place and stop them from rotating and the rest of the neck is nice and clean and shiny now and ready to mount the tuning pegs next. My uh, neck alignment tool is still on route from uh, the Philadelphia Luthier Supply House. Hopefully that will get here this week and I'll be able to check the straightness of the wood and uh, make sure that the truss rod is set in a straight position before anything else happens. I'm not sure where it is right now. It looks like it might be a little underbow just from the eyeball perspective but um, I tested the truss rod bolt and it turns hopefully it will actually work inside the neck and uh, we'll see where we go from there I've also taken a close look at the um, nut it looks like it's cut fairly well although I can't tell until I get strings in it um, it may be slightly too deep um, I'll see once I get strings on it and I may need to shave off a little bit of the top of this and um, it looks fairly sharp on the back edge and I found uh, some information about how to use some sandpaper to curve off the back edge here as the strings come down so that um, they um, they move more nicely over the back edge and don't cause uh, you know stiffness or tuning errors and I also bought graphite to go in there as well so I'm all set as I move forward to uh, take action on any of the little issues that may arise overall I'm fairly satisfied with the um, uh, how the headstock turned out and uh, next tuning pegs and um, alignment checks of the neck itself. The tuning keys are now installed on the headstock. Turned out pretty good. 
shiny gold, just what I wanted. And smooth Wilkinsons. Let's hope they actually tune and hold it like they're supposed to. These ones have two holes in the tuning pegs, an upper and a lower, which is supposed to help lock strings in place better. I need to look up how they're supposed to fit in there to make use of that, but we'll see how they go. Anyway, satisfied with how this turned out. Here I am at the point of uh, doing the neck holes uh, using the body as a template. So I aligned the front with the bridge and got it straight up and up and down. And then I turned it over with this little F clamp with protection on both front and back just to hold it in place for me and I've got some support wood under the neck and under the side of the body over here so it doesn't rock on me as I'm trying to work on it. And I got my trusty craftsman hand drill there. So what happened was is that I found out that the holes in the body were not large enough by just a smidge to pass the 1 8 bit. I should say to pass the uh, size of the screw. But it did pass a 1 8 bit all the way in. And then checking, I realized that yes, the 1 8 bit is the appropriate size for the screw to screw into in the neck portion down here. So, uh, what I did at the first two up here so far is I taped off my bit, which is on that one, the 1 8 bit, for the depth I wanted it to go inside through the body and into the neck. Uh, heel. Uh, then once I got that done, I cleaned it out with my trusty vacuum and then I took this, I think it's a 964 ths just the next one up and just cleaned out the inside of this hole that has some rubbing compound and stuff in it, a little dirty, um, on the upper two. I'm going to do that now next with the bottom two and just ran the drill up and down there a couple of times to um, cleaned it out so that the screw uh, with a little bit of wax on it will go down nicely through the body without binding and then bite into the holes that I put into the neck. So I'm now going to have to move my F-clamp. So what I've done is I've taken my neck plate and I've mounted upside down with a couple of screws in there to hold the neck where it is now should be aligned and secure at the top point and then I'll be able to take this off and drill these two holes out and um, clean it up and then be able to flip the whole thing around and put the neck plate back on in the appropriate position which will be at the end of this um, little bit of work. Um, it can be, can be tedious, slow and easy without trying to make any mistakes at all. All right, I have gotten the uh, second two holes uh, drilled into the uh, the neck because I protected all around it in case I slipped um, even though this is covered by the, the uh, gold plate I still don't want it scratched and so I protect all around it I've opened up these holes the screws go through nicely I've dry fit the whole screws down into the hole once before trying to mount the plate and uh, now I'll turn the plate around and uh, stick them all in, make sure that everything uh, is going to work just fine for me. Well, here we are at the next step of wiring up the uh, control panel. I've decided, in the absence of my USA spec parts uh, coming in a reasonable amount of time from Philadelphia, to uh, go with the um, metric pots that I bought when I bought the uh, gold panel. Didn't know they were metric at the time. The USA parts, what I bought in parallel, were not. 
and so I bought extra USA parts thinking I would drill out the holes in this panel and uh, I have a push-pull switch I wanted to mount here in the tone for being able to put in a 0 0.022 and then pull on it to add another 0 0.022 to deepen the tone um, a little bit if necessary um, and that's not going to work for now because I don't have the USA spec pot to go there so for now I'm going to put these put these on and go with it the way it is at a later point I may choose to change them out by another control panel maybe and drill on that one so in case the gold gets screwed up I've still got this good one that I can put back on the guitar Anyhow, we'll see how we go. So we're all ready with our cloth wire tools, soldering irons ready to go, and uh, wiring schemes that I've uh, decided to, to use. And so we'll do some of this wiring up. I built this little jig on a 2x4 with a couple of uh, spring clips to hold it for me while I'm uh, putting the wires on. This make it a little bit, a little bit handy. I've adjusted the pots in there so that... Um, the height is just perfect for the dome knobs to uh, fit close to the panel but not touch and scrape it. And I've got this uh, machined gold cup uh, that I ordered from Texas off eBay. It didn't mention in the title that the uh, jack thread was metric. Um, and I had bought a nice gold switchcraft to fit on it, which of course doesn't work. So we're going to go with the metric one. And the way it flush mounts in there pretty pretty well. And back it off a little bit. It flush mounts fairly well. Um, and tighten up the nut behind it. So when I stick the jack in there, it'll feed itself right down the hole without uh, hitting the lip of the jack. This one is exactly 22 millimeters in diameter, which uh, fits the guitar routing uh, perfectly. The vintage style that I bought to come with this uh, set of parts was a 24 millimeter to fit in a 22 millimeter hole which was not advantageous and uh, a pain to set up with the little spring clip inside and all the fanatigans that goes with it so decided against that <clears throat> and went with this one which is a much nicer uh, jack cup so we'll be ready to put that one in as well so we're going to do a little bit of wiring and then we'll show you how it turned out afterwards. The issue I thought I had solved with the uh, feed through holes um, between cavities is not solved so I've had to take the neck off again. This hole here in the neck cavity um, I thought it looked good enough and close enough to the bottom uh, to be able to pass through the wiring from this pickup. However, when the pickup is in the hole and you have the bend radius of this fairly thick cable um, to go around, it uh, is sitting a little bit too high up here um, in the hole, about halfway up. Halfway up is basically halfway up the cavity which basically only gives my uh, pickup uh, from halfway up to higher and and no lower so a little bit of a adjustment problem there that I'm concerned about uh, the one in here I did gouge out a little bit at the bottom uh, for the wire to come through here to try to keep it low so it would sit underneath the 
um, now, uh, the bridge pickup and I gouged this hole out as well with a bit um, to try to because two of them are going to go through there um, and the bridge wire is basically as thick as the ones on the neck so <clears throat> The two of them have to go through there, and it is impeding that side of my bridge to be able to be adjusted lower on that side than on the other side that has no impediments. So, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen there. I may have to put another drill bit in here again. Um, maybe gouge it a little bit deeper if I can. I don't have anything that can go at an angle in there. However, from here, I can stick a drill bit through uh, the neck pocket here and try to open that up a bit and bring it a little bit deeper so that can actually push down on that wire as it goes through there and, and hopefully give me a little bit extra downward adjustment uh, that I need. These pickups are actually quite tall on the neck. Um, they're neovins and they're a little bit taller I think than a standard pickup. Um, so we'll see if that gives it to me because at this point I'm kind of worried that the strings uh, which I've put on there before putting the pickup in the hole um, using fishing line um, pass quite close um, to the to the heel of the neck at this point um, and that's with the saddles that I had mounted on my bridge um, at their highest level um, which also concerns me that the um, heel pocket may be a shy too high and doesn't let the neck sit down a little bit more um, for being able to do a proper adjustment but if my neck pickup is too high and the strings are always going to be touching it because it'll come higher than the heel of the uh, fretboard, uh, that's a that's a no-go working. So I'm going to see what I can do. Of course, it's going to bugger up my copper job in there on both sides. <sighs> but I can always put more copper. I just need to get the hole as low as possible. I. I don't have to go all the way through, I just need to get through inside a little bit so that the wire can actually be pushed very much lower here towards the, the bottom of this cavity. Alright, let's see what happens. <laughs> 